higher. Talk, talk to me about uh, buying points. I okay. hear I hear people say they, they bought a point on their loan or what is that and why would why would you want to do that? Okay. Again, a lot to that question. There's a lot of reasons why it would make sense, and then there's a lot of reasons why it, why it wouldn't make sense. Again, loan balance matters on this one. So the higher the loan balance, the more rate reduction that you have, the more you're going to save in the long term. Okay. So a point can be purchased. It's really um, where rates are what that day. Okay. There's a par rate, which just means like that's where American Mortgage thinks like that this is the standard rate for today without us losing money. So we have a par rate where we really need to be right, right around. That's the standard going rate for the day, mm -hmm. okay? If you wanna be under that, it's the difference from the par rate to that rate. You multiply that by the loan amount. So again, loan amount matters. So let's say it's just an even 1%, okay. and you multiply that by the loan amount, that's the even cost that the point will cost them. So it's not an even amount every time. It could be a half a point half a point times the loan amount. And again, loan amount matters. If you have a $400,000 loan or a $100,000 loan, that's a significant change in cost. So mm -hmm. every single person that we go through, we give them their rate, okay? We, and if really, if, if it's a great rate and there's really nothing near it, there's not much conversation to have because it's gonna cost them a lot to get down to the next rate, okay? If the rate is really close to it, we will always tell them, this is what it would cost for you to buy this point down. We do not do that automatically, not to anybody. Mm -hmm. We just do not do that. That is a trick, I think, that mortgage companies use to always have the lowest rate, but really I find that I just don't like it. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna do that to somebody. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let them make that decision and let them know what the real cost is. Mm -hmm. But again, over 30 years, it might make a lot of sense for somebody to pay that up front, reduce their rate over 30 years. On the flip side, rates go crazy all the time. Like, what if rates go down again? Then you paid that point for nearly nothing, right. and you refinanced your rate or your, you know, right. your loan in the next year or two, and got a much lower rate, and you really paid that to nobody. So right. I don't know. I'm kind of one of those people. Like, I, I'm not a gambler, uh -huh. so I don't gamble, and I just go with the best decision when I see it. <laughs>